హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎవ్రీథింగ్ మెట్లర్జీ సో వెల్కమ్ టు డే లెవెన్ ఆఫ్ హండ్రెడ్ డేస్ హండ్రెడ్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అండ్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ప్రీ డామినెన్స్ ఏరియా డయాగ్రామ్స్ సో ఫస్ట్లీ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ ప్రీ డామినెన్స్ ఏరియా డయాగ్రామ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఎ గ్రాఫ్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ ద స్టెబిలిటీ ఓకే సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయినింగ్ ద స్టెబిలిటీ ఆఫ్ the different uh, you know components that are present in my system in terms of the concentration so let's say usually we predominantly use this particular diagrams for roasting okay what is roasting roasting is nothing but oxidation let's say of some ore so i have some sulfide ore as let's say i am oxidizing it okay to give what ao plus let's say some so to whatever something like this will be 3 by 2 so in this particular reaction i want to use the gaseous phases that is so2 and my o2 so using the partial pressures of course uh, to compress the graph we usually use log scale okay so log of p o2 on x axis and log of p so2 on my y axis okay there will be something like this and depending on it we usually get some line something like this okay and it will divide what my either sulfide or oxide so it will let you know that if i choose or if you know that this is the point where my system has partial pressure of oxygen to be this point and partial pressure of so2 to be this point then i can say that okay my phase is ao or as okay if you just consider somewhere like this okay how i got that particular line so for that particular line just apply the equilibrium constant concept over here so what is equilibrium constant okay of course uh, we take as and ao into my standard state so those concentrations and activities will be one okay so this will be what pso2 divided by po2 whole power 3 by 2 so if you just quickly apply log so this will be what log k equal to log p so2 plus oh sorry it will be minus because it's on the denominator so minus 3 by 2 log p o2 right this is what you get so if you carefully observe this particular equation uh, if you just uh, rephrase it you will getting log p so2 will be equal to what 3 by 2 log PO2 plus some constant log K. Okay. So, here my slope is what? 3 by 2, which is a positive slope. So, what I'll do? I'll just draw a positive line like this. Okay. So, which will give me, which will divide the equation into two different regions. Okay. So, let's say I have S over here and A over here. Okay. Something like this. So, this is how my predominance area diagram is used extensively in terms of roasting. Why we use it? We, to see with the help of equilibrium constant concept and also using the partial pressures that are present in the product and the reactants you tend to observe what is the phase that is present in my state okay so here what is this line representing so this line over here okay, this line over here is representing the equilibrium of AS and DO that means any point if you take on this line it represents the equilibrium relationship between the reactants and the products okay so i hope uh, you understood what is predominance area diagram now quickly uh, i'll take you to a question okay a previous year gate question which explains you more easily so here comes the question so it goes like this it's given that the roasting of metallic sulfide okay metallic sulfide ms with pure oxygen and it is carried out at a particular temperature uh, where the probable stable solid phases so what are the stable solid phases that are present to me it is m ms mo and mso4 so these are the stable solid phases which are present in my system okay in case uh, that the system attains equilibrium and thus satisfies the phase rule it is possible to obtain which of the following solid phases in roasted product that means it's so simple so what it is asking is as it is reached the equilibrium which combination of these particular options given here is possible to form that's what is uh, asked here 
right so this is i think uh, gate 2009 or 2016 question i don't remember okay so now let me write different equation so what is the first equation that is possible over here which is obviously which we just saw right so the first equation will be ms plus 3 by 2 2 which is giving rise to mo plus so2 so what is the slope of this line slope of this line is 3 by 2 okay so first let me write the different equations and then we'll see the slopes okay so my slope of this particular equation is 3 by 2 okay the next reaction that is possible is of course if there is m because m is also a stable solid it also tend to get oxidized to form what to form mo what is the slope here just try to calculate the slope okay meanwhile i'll also write the remaining equations so the remaining equations may be ms plus 2o2 to give what this particular stable phase mso4 and what is the fourth one that is also mso4 but it's for coming from mo okay this mo is converting to mso4 plus 2so2 plus o2 gives rise to what 2 and so far right so now what's the work that we need we need to calculate the different slope so this slope 3 by 2 we already got but if you just observe the other things okay so in the first equation let's say we don't have pso2 at all so this reaction will take place at constant po2 okay so some constant po2 means it gives that the line equation will be something like this PO2 equal to K. Why? Because we don't have SO2 term in this reaction also. Uh, I mean in this reaction and also this reaction. So this also has something like this equal to some constant K. Okay. That means these are the lines which are parallel to the Y axis. Okay. Now what is the other one we have? This reaction. So if you want to write K for this particular reaction, K will be what? 1 by PSO2 square into PO2. So, if you quickly uh, apply, you know, the log term, so this will be what? 2 log PSO2 plus PO2 minus log K is equal to 0. So, if you just take uh, the PO2 term on the other side, what you will get getting? This will be equal to minus half PO2 plus some constant, something like this, right? So, this 2 won't be there now okay so what is the slope here minus half is the slope okay see as you see here this is the slope so now we got four different lines right we have four different lines of course uh, there is one more reaction also which is possible uh, which is conversion of ms okay so which will be something like this ms plus o2 gives rise to m plus so2 okay so i'll just write it in another color so that you don't get confused so at least ms plus o2 gives rise to m plus so2 even this is there and you can see the slope of this particular equation will be equal to one okay so we have got five different re reactions which are involved in it so now quickly i'll try to plot in my predominance is a diagram okay so this is the box which i have here yeah something like this and i have log i have what log p o so2 on y axis and log p o2 on the x axis now what is the first equation i have i have these five equations okay so I have slope equal to 3 by 2 ms plus 3 by 2 to give rise to mo and the slope is 3 by 2 so with the slope 3 by 2 let me quickly draw some line like this something like this okay some line which has a slope 3 by 2 okay the next line we have two lines right we have two lines with Okay, actually, 
I'll quickly draw a full line so that you can easily understand this and then we'll erase how we'll get it and also we have something where I have slope of minus half so my minus half line will be something like this okay so now I'll erase I'll erase some regions in order to explain you guys okay so I'll erase this line and I'll erase these parts right I have erased it and of course we have one more line right so here how many lines I got I got one two three four lines only so but I have five lines so what is the other slope which I am missing let me go and check I have two parallel one three by two yeah of course I have slope is equal to one itself right so I have slope is equal to one which is parallel to something like this something like this let me assume that this is slope equal to one okay so I'll erase this part over here why I am erasing it because to show how the different regions are in equilibrium also I am erasing this part yeah so now my predominance error diagram is complete so I will just quickly draw with the same color okay so now no need to do it I did not mention the uh, you know the different phases but instead of doing it now it's better to you know plot it before itself so this will be m this will be ms this will be mo and this is what mso4 so these are the four solids which are there right so first things first you must know that how the reactions may be possible between the different components that are present to you so what is this uh, equilibrium mean so equilibrium is what it is represented by a common line or a common point so what is it so let me see this line what is this line interpreters this line is explaining you the equilibrium between ms and mso4 similarly what is this line indicating you it is indicating the relation between the equilibrium relation between m and ms similarly this line is between these two similarly this line is between these two and of course the last one this line is between these two okay so this is common lines what about points so let me take this particular point so at this phase it says that sorry at this point it says that all the three phases are coexisting that means all the three phases are in equilibrium so this is a point where we have m ms and mo similarly i have one more point over here which has what ms mso4 and mo right so this is what my predominance area diagram will look like and it is explaining you about the equilibrium now what is the question in the in case the system is attaining equilibrium what are the possible phases that are you know coexisting is it possible to obtain which of the following solid phases together so what is it asking i'll quickly take the options to the other page yeah so these are the options that we have got okay so m ms and mo okay so m ms and mo these are the three things that uh, they said okay next ms mo and mso4 okay that is option 3 right what is the other one ms and mo ms and mo means it is at this particular line right what is the other one m ms mo and mso so this op option is impossible because all the four phases are not at all coinciding to you so here you see that you have two equilibrium points which is what option one and option three as you can see so i hope you understood this particular um, concept so if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and if you like the work what we do always visit everythingmetallurgy.in to go 
purchase our test series which is one of the most affordable test series in india and also do watch our videos if you like our videos if you like our work then you can also take our full gate empt coaching from us with full fledged training and guidance so if you are interested also check out the details on our website so that's it for today guys meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept till then keep learning thank you